Saturday morning, and it's time to kick off the Experts Program on Power Talk Radio, and that means Luis Alvarez, CEO of the Alvarez Technology Group, joining us right now. Luis, how are you doing? I am doing fantastic. I'm enjoying my week and my day, and I'm going to have, although today I have a whole bunch of honeydews I got to accomplish, but uh, that comes with the territory. We sure. just got back from vacation, so it's it's time to pay the piper. Hey, ransomware scourge is driving price hikes in cyber insurance, and cybersecurity insurance costs are rising. Insurers are demanding more direct access to, I guess, yeah. how your organization protects its computers. What's going on here? Yeah, so we, we are actually doing a webinar on Wednesday with a uh, company, SeedPod Cyber, that does cyber insurance. If anybody's interested in attending that after listening today, please uh, email info at alvareztg.com and we'll get you signed up or you can go to our Facebook page and there's a link there as well. But in essence, what's happening is cyber insurance companies have been losing money since the cyber insurance product was created. It's never been cash flow positive because they're paying out more than they're making. So as you can imagine, premiums are starting to go up. And not only are premiums starting to go up, but cyber insurance companies are requiring more and more controls be put in place before they issue a policy. So we recently have gotten policy questionnaires from our clients that include things like multi-factor authentication on everything. It includes things like real-time alerting of breaches and any sort of network anomalies. So they're, they're getting much tighter in requiring you to do more to protect yourself before they will insure you. And one of the things that they're talking about doing is not relying on these questionnaires anymore, but actually requiring you to send them the raw data somehow and them being able to evaluate that you are, yes, doing all the things that you say that you've been doing to protect yourself before they will even issue you a policy. And if you don't, then they can deny any claims that comes from that policy. So it's becoming a high stakes game, ransomware, the average payout, now all in. That is not only what they pay to the uh, guys that are holding the data hostage, but also recovering the network is upwards of $3.5 million per incident. So we're not talking about trivial amounts here. We're talking about serious money. And that's why cyber insurance companies are starting to really crack down on this. So how much is a a typically a premium for cyber insurance or does it vary by the size of the business and how much exposure you represent? It varies, but just by way of example, um, we had one of our clients who last year was paying around $3,500 $3,500 for an annual premium for cyber insurance, get a renewal and it's gone up to $7,800. More than uh, double. Yeah. And they are very, very specific about the requirements that are required to issue the policy. And if you don't have all of those protections in place, which fortunately most of our clients who are we're managing their security for them do, it becomes really difficult for you to get coverage at all. And mm-hmm. if you do, they'll exclude a lot of things because they say, well, because you don't have these things in place, you are more likely than not to become a victim, and we're not going to provide any coverage if you do. So one of the things they might say to you is, for remote work by your employees, if you're not using VPN with multi-factor authorization, we're not going to offer you a policy or the policy is going to cost you this much, but we're only going to cover you up to, say, a certain amount of money. Exactly. You nailed it. You know, And especially with VPNs, now with hybrid workforces, that cyber insurance companies are becoming very concerned about these endpoints that are spread throughout the landscape outside of the protected network also being protected. So they are requiring VPNs with, you know, multi-factor authentication and things like if you're using Office 365, Microsoft's uh, hosted platform or Google Suite, that those also use MFA. And if you don't, you're just not going to be qualified for the coverage. I would imagine this could even go as far as saying, we want the right to be able to come in unannounced and survey your network and see where your employees are surfing and to see if you, if there's any unreasonable risks, like maybe people are going to websites that are not work-related or maybe they're going to porn sites or something like that, yeah. which might raise the risk of a cyber incursion. And so the insurer might say, look, this is part of the deal. You have to give us access so that we can monitor your network. That could raise some privacy concerns, but at the same time, I could understand the cyber insurance companies going in that direction. It wouldn't surprise me that they start requiring you to, to provide that kind of data through something like a, a SIM, which is a, a central repository of, of log, you know, it ingests all the logs from all of these different services that you run on your network and provides alerts. And they might say, hey, we want to be able to tap into that. So be prepared to give us access when we want it. But it's part of the way the world is now. And, you know, the cyber threats are not getting any less. They're actually getting worse every day. And the bad guys are unfortunately sometimes one step ahead of the rest of us and trying to keep up. And that's why we need to make 
sure that you implement all, as many protections as possible. And we'll be talking more about that on Wednesday. So we'll have an insurance expert that can talk specifically about what some of the requirements are with the policies today. Okay. And this is going to be a webinar that Alvarez Technology Group is holding? Correct. Yeah. So again, check out our Facebook page or if you want a link and want to sign up, just email us at info at alvareztg.com and we'll get you signed up. That's Luis Alvarez, CEO of the Alvarez Technology Group, joining us today. Once again, website, alvareztg.com, at alvareztg. That's the Twitter handle. And Lewis, the toll-free number for the I-Team. Give us a call at 866-78-I-Team. That's 866-784-8326. And ring doorbells are in the news once again. And we're going to be talking about that on Monday. What's the issue? Well, you may not know it, but law enforcement may be able to tap into your ring cameras and grab data without your permission or without your knowledge. We'll find out more about that Monday, beginning in the 8 o'clock hour here on Power Talk. Thank you, Lewis. Take care, my friend.